Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we are going to go over the newest collab in the world of Monster Strike. It is Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 2. And actually, technically, I don't know what you want to call it. It's the third appearance of Jujutsu Kaisen. But for the full collab, it's only the second. Eh, we'll talk about it in a minute. Um, I know most people said they wanted this out ASAP. Um, well, given that the missions are the only, uh, you know, new thing in this collab, and I translated that off the bat, I decided to push this off until I got more details for the strike shots. Um, there were a few people that did say they had interest in that, and since, you know, I believe everything was straightforward with this collab, I opted to wait a little bit for this, and, uh, well, here we are now. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the details of the collab. Uh, as you know, we have the gacha active right now, and I've waited long enough that we are now in the individual wait up, so they are active. They will cycle through uh, Kugisaki Nobara, Meimei, and Fushigoro Megumi. Make sure you pay attention on a particular character if you so care. Uh, this is a full collab, so we do also get four five star monsters. We get Kusakabe, Atsuya, and Ino Takuma in the four five star slots. Um, we also have the revival of volume one here and despite the banner only showing three characters there is a full lineup here. You can get Itadori Yuji, Nanami Kento, and Gojo Satoru in this gacha and note that while you also see Kugisaki Nobara and Fushigoro Megumi in this gacha they are four five star monsters. And as noted in the news segment that you cannot fuse these four five star monsters with the equivalent six star monsters here. They are separate entities and cannot be fused for luck. I'm sure you know why, but uh, keep that in mind. Also, as is always the case for volume one gotchas, there are no individual weight ups for these monsters. So you will have to get them fair and square. And we also have, this is what I talk about the, the, the middle appearance of this, uh, uh, anime Jujutsu Kaisen Zero with Starlight Mirage Gacha is going to be up all the way until the 2nd of February, just like the other gachas. And here you are able to get Okotsu Yuta in the 6 star slot, and you also see this trio of Zenin Maki, Inumaki, Toge, and Panda as your 4 5 star monsters. Again, there are no individual rate ups for this gacha either. And so if you take all, uh, 15? Yeah, I think 15 characters uh, that come with this collab. Uh, you can see here are the ratings from Game With. Um, I believe, I actually don't know if they've updated the rankings from provisional status. Um, I guess I'll check while I'm talking here. Uh, but you can see that for volume 2, uh, looks like Meimei and Fushigoro Megumi have a 8.0 rating at the moment and uh kugisaki nobara has a 7.5 rating again you know 7.5 8.0 is your you know average rating for you know collab characters so you know it hasn't been the case where we have an ultimate op monster uh from a collab so um you know that that's not the case like sure you might see some really strong ones here and there but nothing super crazy. Uh, but what is to note is that Kusakabe Atsuya, the five star uh, light monster that you can get from this gacha is notably at an 8.0. No, normally five star monsters tap, top out at 7.5. So if you do see an 8.0 rating, that does mean he has something very nice. And I, I do believe it's because of his uh, bomb combo here. He has the three-way follow-up laser, but most importantly, he is a pierce type, which makes it really easy to activate properly. Uh, so I think that is why he's given such a high ranking that that, you know, along with the ability set he has, uh, right? You see that bump combo boost on the uh, bottom right here. Uh, that's going to be really nice for him as well. So make sure you get at least one copy of Kusakabe Atsuya um, as it is well worth uh, his worth in orbs so uh make sure you don't miss out on volume one monsters they got a transcension kai and you can see that the the monsters there do have good ratings itadori and nanami both at an 8.0 rating gojo satoru with a little bit of a boost at 8.5 um and you can see the four or five star monsters um have a 7.0 rating which is okay 
And then you can see that Okotsu Yuta, uh, while he did not get a Transcendent Kai, he just got a small buff. Um, I mean, he does have a strong bump combo, so, you know, it's nothing to, you know, laugh at. But, um, I mean, obviously, I'm sure people were hoping more. Uh, but he does still have an 8.0 rating, which is not too bad. Uh, and of course, to note is the four five star monsters. This is not usually the case, but uh, the four five star monsters here do have different forms available. Uh, and notably, they are different elements, which is really rare in this game. All right, so you can see that they uh, split into three different um, evolution forms. And uh, note that the panda form in the light uh, element is slightly higher than the other two. So there's no need to get all of them, but if you have to pick one, definitely the panda form appears to be the best. And then, of course, uh, I talked about the paid pack monster in the news segment, Gojo and Ghetto, uh, 7.5 rating. So again, never a must have, looks nice, will definitely help new players. If you love the collab, you know, it's a no brainer to get, to get started if you want to pay money. Because the only way you can get that monster is with real money. All right, now let's take a look at the character strike shots. Um, I've, you know, I've transitioned to using the in-game, uh, or not the in-game, the news site art uh, to describe them instead of the character card. Let me know if you'd rather see the other way around, but I think this looks nicer, um, at least, you know, visually. So first, let's take a look at Fushiguro Megumi at an 8 out rating. 8.0 rating. His strike shot will do a follow-up attack to the closest enemy after done moving. When he moves to the target, he will move towards that target's weak point. And the great thing about this strike shot is it is a full animation strike shot, so the boss will not run until the follow-up is completely finished, uh, which does mean you can skip some gauges with his strike shots, as shown in the demo video. His buff uh, bonuses first gear is 40% uh, just naturally and then the follow up attack does 8.8 .8 times his attack stat. Second gear that goes up to 80% and the follow up increases all the way up to 12.32x. Next up we have Kugisaki Nobara in the uh, fire element 7.5 rating for her. Um, her follow up attack will target the first enemy you hit after she is done moving. What is interesting about her strike shot is that her strike shot does give bonus if you hit the weak point. Uh, by physically hitting the weak point, you will increase her multiplier damage, uh, which is a very interesting mechanic. I'm not sure if we've had that before. Um, also note that the uh, follow-up attack, which is percentage based, will also get bonuses based on you actually hitting the weak point. Um, you can see the self buff to her is 1.2x and if you hit the weak point, it's 1.5x instead. Um, and the follow up damage is anywhere from 21% to 28%. You'll start off at the minimum there and for every weak point hit you get, you will get an additional 0.7% uh, worth of uh, percentage damage out of that. You are guaranteed a minimum of 2.1 million, which is actually pretty high. Uh, minimums usually aren't that high for the first gear so interesting to see that second gear for nobara here is a 1.4x and if you hit the weak point that is a 2.0 buff which is nice uh, in addition the follow-up percentage attack increases to 27 through 36 percent where every time you hit the weak point you will do additional 0.9 percent uh, to the percentage damage minimum for that is a nice 2.7 million as well Last but not least for the new characters, we have Mei Mei here and it is a percentage based strike shot. But for this one, even after a few days, it is still a mystery on how it works. They've gotten a range available. Uh, you can see in the follow up, but first gear, the buff is at a point 1.45x and the follow up does anywhere between 12 to 22% with a guaranteed minimum of 1.9 million. Second gear goes up to 1.65x and the follow up is anywhere from 16 to 25% with a minimum of 2.2 million. Again, unknown on the actual mechanics of how this works quite yet, at least on game mode. So, uh, you know, keep an eye out and, you know, maybe if you're still curious towards the middle of the collab, ask in the Discord channel and I'm sure somebody will uh, find out. And if I'm, am I'm, I'm awake and see your message, then I'll probably check game with again, see if there's any details on that. 
Now let's take a look at the volume one monsters who got Transcension Kai's and I do have Itadori Yuji, um, but uh, there is absolutely no changes to his strike shot uh, from the Transcension form. It's the same multiplier, same behavior, same everything. Uh, but for those of you who do not know how it works, um, if the character uh, or the enemy has a weak point, it will take its weak point amplified damage. So normally it's three times, but if you have any additional bonuses attached to that, it will take that as well. Um, the buff for Itadori, he'll get like this like black flame kind of action going after he does his initial additional initial punch. Um, and we'll get a buff that lasts until his next action is over. Uh, so you can see the first attack is just straight equal to his attack stat. Then the follow-up is where things get huge 20.4 times the weak point multiplier. Again, minimum 3x could be higher. Um, and then he has a buff that lasts for uh, until his next action at 60%. Again, that does include his bomb combo. So uh, very nice buff for him there. For the second gear, that uh, the first attack still equal to his attack stat, but the uh, follow-up goes up to 25.5x and uh, the buff is 80% instead of 60%. So pretty nice for Yuji here. Next, we have Gojo Satoru with an 8.5. He is the highest rated gacha monster in either volume here. And his strike shot is a big follow-up attack. It's big uh, that aims towards the center of the boss and just goes off screen in that direction. Any other enemies that are hit along the way will also be affected by the delay and percentage damage. However, keep in mind, while it is big, that strike shot does not affect everybody on the screen. It just affects anybody in that path, but admittedly that path is really huge. So most monsters will get affected. Um, you can see his uh, self buff uh, multipliers. Remember his self buff does last for a set amount of turns. In this case, it is five turns. Uh, gear one will give you a 60% boost. Uh, the delay will last one turn and his follow up will do 14% of the max HP of the target with a guaranteed minimum of 1.4 million. Second gear, that buff goes all the way up to 2.4x. Woo, that is spicy. The delay increases to two turns and the follow up attack will do 22% of the max HP of the target with a guaranteed minimum of 2.2 million. So. No surprise here that Gojo Satoru is somebody you want to go for and unfortunately is the one monster I do not have in the volume one gacha which is sad to see. And last but not least we have Nanami Kento here in the 8.0 rating here guarantees to hit the boss and will guarantee to deal indirect but it will guarantee weak point damage. Uh, again just like what we talked about earlier Normally that multiplier will be 3x, but if there's any additional uh, multiplier, uh, you know, buffs applied, it will take that as well. Also important to note is that for Kento's strike shot, even enemies who do not have weak points, they will get the intrinsic 3x attached to them regardless. So you will be dishing out damage with Kento's strike shot. You can see his self buff is 1.44x, but his follow up is a huge 41.63 times the weak point multiplier. That is pretty darn big. Um, I know people were pretty sour on his uh, skill set there, but um, his strike shot certainly makes up for it with that power there. Uh, second gear, 1.68 buff, and that follow up goes to 55.5 times the weak point multiplier. Again, that is minimum 3x guaranteed regardless of the target um, having a weak point or not. So very interesting uh, set for Kento there. And then we will wrap up. Actually, no, we won't wrap up. We have Okotsuyuta here with the uh, Starlight Mirage here. His strike shot will heal uh, friendly units equal to their HP only one time as long as you touch them and also heal any status effects that they must have. Uh, the follow up is split into two parts, a beam and a blast. The blast is also percentage based scaling to the max HP of your target. Uh, now the strike shot I don't believe has changed right remember he just got a buff so all of the details you see here are exactly the same from uh, the first time you saw Okotsu 
Uh, he just got a new ability and an upgraded bump combo out of it. So it's still an 8.0, but uh, nothing uh, nothing new for Okotsu, unfortunately. Ish. Um, and then here we go. Last but not least, in terms of the characters, I'm skipping the four five star monsters. Sorry. Uh, Gojo and Geto here. Remember, you must pay 1,000 yen to purchase this pack to get this monster. Uh, 7.5 rating on game with. But uh, Strike Shot is pretty cool in terms of animation. Practically, it's the exact same in terms of damage dealt. But uh, it'll randomly pick between Gojo or Geto to attack first. After he is done moving, then the other will start attacking and will be the one that performs the final follow-up and the animation is different between the two so uh, very cool especially if you love the anime I'm sure this is a treat to see for sure but like I said the attack is um, similar in terms of multipliers so there's no change there gear one is a 20% buff to himself the first person who moves and then the second person who moves will get a 1.4x on top of the 1.2 which gives you a total of 1.68 times the attack stat and the follow-up will do 22.4x second gear the self buff increases to 40 percent the other attack gets an additional 0.60 percent on top of that which gives you 2.24x your attack stat and the final follow-up is 32 times the attack stat there so uh again nice nothing too important but uh again if you are new to this game or you love this collab not a bad investment for a thousand yen you also get a bunch of other items that will help out you to kickstart the game so the question is which gotcha should you pull on and i'm taking the straight from game with give them a high five the next time you see them uh but uh you know honestly the suggestion here is really consult your box and figure out what you're stuck on um if these monsters have a place for to fill a hole in your box that dictates what you need to do there's no shining star to go after one thing that they you know easily agree on is that the starlight mirage is not a priority there's no reason to you know chase after this uh hard for any reason uh if you're new it's not a bad idea to go for volume one. Volume one will have, um, they're just more powerful in general, right? They got the Kai forms, so they have a little bit more oomph with them. So definitely uh, has some power there. If you're a veteran, that probably insinuates you have a more filled out box. That means maybe you actually want to go for volume two. And the reason for that is, you know, they don't seem to have an obvious place right now, but they do have a pretty unique set of skills, which, and this is always dangerous, right? Like you don't always want to invest for the future while you're gotching for a collab. But you know, the reality is some of these characters might be able to fill that hole somewhere and you're not going to be able to get them if you don't pull them out. But it's not always the case that they're going to get something to shine in. They could gather dust for the longest time and, well, that's always sad to see, but it is a reality in this game. So, uh, something to think about. Um, but also to note that Volume 1 characters don't really have any new castle stages or Gozetsu highlights for them to shine in either. So that's why Game with Contest, you really got to look at your box to figure out what you want to do for this uh, gotcha. Now for me, obviously since I have two out of three, I would love to get Gojo, but um, you know, I will probably just pull volume two. Uh, I don't see any need to go for Starlight, but um, you know, Gojo does have uh, a chance to help with Forza, uh, the new, not the newest, but the, you know, debut Reizetsu quest. He does get a rank A on Game With right now. So if you need somebody to help you out with that quest, perhaps perhaps gojo can help you out there all right let's take a look at the events you can uh of course i ho hopefully you've been already playing them but you can see that uh we've got uh the wood quest and the light quest available 24 7 they are your four or five star quests um you have the fire quest available all the time this is a direct drop quest um no max luck needed because you are guaranteed to drop one to three copies upon clearing. And on top of that, you will get seven copies clearing it uh, each day. Make sure you co-op for a chance to drop two or more. Um, it's worth it. 
you know, if you hit tens all the time, you can finish it slightly quicker than somebody who doesn't. Um, and of course, the scheduled quests, you have the water and the dark quest available. Make sure you bring your max luck monsters to farm them away or wait until Monster Strike Day to do that, which at this point, I'm, most people must do, right? I can wait. Uh, for those of you who weren't here, or actually for those of you who already did it, remember the old quests are in the library. You can clear them again once to get one orb each, even though you max luck them. Nothing's stopping you from doing that. It's free orbs. Make sure you do that. Uh, you'll have until the 2nd of February uh, before it goes away. So uh, that's always a treat. Uh, one of the you know perks of um, being able to do a uh, collab all over again. So please make sure you don't forget that. We also have an Insidious Chokyoku quest. Uh, this is a farmable style Insidious quest. Uh, all monsters will get plus 99 luck and are treated as max luck. So farm away with your OP monsters and get Fushigoro Toji to max luck. Now we do have a mini Mecha Maru mission uh, location available. You can see it on the home screen. I won't click it to you know avoid any potential uh, BGM issues and them, you know, striking or hiding my video because of it. Um, like I said, the missions are quite straightforward. You'll earn uh, collab monsters, good job stamps, items. Uh, thankfully, this one has no time restrictions at all. You're not going to have to wait for anything. All you have to do is wait for the missions to show up that are scheduled. It is nice. There are 10 missions available. Here are the translations. Hopefully you saw them. I did post on YouTube uh, in the community section. It is on Twitter. It's also on uh, the Discord channel. So uh, if you need to take a look at it again, here they are. Find them in the respective places uh, to see them at any time. 10 simple missions. Um, remember, you do not have to do 9 and 10 uh, together. Uh, you can wait until uh, or you can do them separately. Uh, so you, that you don't make your life hell uh, harder than it needs to be. For each line that you complete, you'll get 10 copies of Ierie. Ierie? Ierie? I don't remember. Uh, Shoko there. Uh, for each clear, you will get 10 copies. Uh, and also extra rewards that you can see in game. Also, I'm sure you saw on login, you will get 10 copies of Iori Utahime uh, per day. And on days two and four, you will get a Tokudama to celebrate the collab. And as always the case, the login monster as well as the mission monster will function as a max luck during the collab. Um, that means they will give you two chest drops guaranteed as long as it is the duration of the collab. And that's it. Like I said, nothing nothing new, nothing confusing to deal with this. I'm sure we'll get another mission Actually, we'll see if we get it tonight. Uh, it's an interesting prospect because the collab just started. So maybe we'll have to wait next week to get more news. I'm not sure, actually. But uh, we'll see in a few hours uh, on how that works. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Look forward to the gotcha video tomorrow, I hope. And, uh, well, I hope... I wish you good luck if you have not pulled already. I'm sure most of you have. I'm probably the, the rare person who's been this slow and uh, has not uh, gotcha at all while fully intending to gotcha. So, uh, is that it? I think that's it. So, until next time. Did I say that? Did I say my usual spiel? I have no idea. Like, subscribe, ENG Monster on Twitter slash X, Discord channel in the description. All right, until next time. Bye-bye.